Hello, my name is Mindy Becker, and I'm standing in front of the Every Artist Wall Art Project in downtown Bentonville, Arkansas. This mural is composed of 8,416 individual works of art that have been scanned and printed into one collaborative piece. So who are these 8,416 artists? They're the first through sixth grade students in the Bentonville school system. The Wall Art Project was the first collaborative elementary artist project for everyartist.me. Founder, artist Brendan O'Connor, has a vision to democratize the creative experience to kids everywhere. Everyartist.me is a child-focused movement to support the expression of creativity innate in every child. Everyartist.me teamed up with Walmart and other donors to create this enormous undertaking of collaborative art. The children were asked to choose one of the basic beliefs articulated by Sam Walton and embraced by Walmart Associates worldwide, respect, service, and excellence. They were then asked to interpret what they selected in their own way. On April 20, 2012, the students were bused to the Bentonville High's Tiger Stadium to bring together their individual works of art. The students placed their works side by side on the stadium ground to create a massive collaborative work. For the remainder of the presentation, we will focus on an individual work within the mural created by an artist who is very special to me, my daughter, Carmen Clayton. Carmen was eight years old at the time of creating her piece. She chose to represent the value of excellence in her work. The composition is symmetrical, which is the simplest form of balance. It includes geometric shapes and patterns and horizontal lines in an organized fashion that depict the theme of excellence. A blue ribbon, a symbol for excellence, is strategically placed in the middle of the piece. The warm colors of pink and orange background, as well as the red starburst, convey a feeling of happiness much like one would feel if they had earned the first place ribbon. The mural has a high intrinsic value for over 8,000 families represented, as well as the City of Bentonville, the Every Artist Organization, and the Walmart Corporation. The City of Bentonville is intentional about embracing the arts. The City Square, which is where the mural is located, hosts an annual art and culinary festival, a weekly art market, and boasts a half dozen art galleries. Downtown Bentonville is unquestionably the epicenter of Bentonville's emerging art, cultural, and culinary scene. The citizens of Bentonville consider the Wall Art Project to be a highly valuable addition to the Downtown Arts Initiative. The mural is similar to the AIDS Memorial Quilt in the sense that it is a collaborative project with the purpose of bringing awareness of an issue to both the artist and the audience. The AIDS Memorial Quilt began in 1987 when a small group of people embarked on a project together. Their goal was to create a memorial for those who had died of AIDS and to thereby help people understand the devastating impact of the disease. Today the quilt has over 48,000 artist contributors and is a powerful visual reminder of those who have lost their battle with AIDS. While the AIDS Memorial Quilt focuses on individuals who share a common thread, the Wall Art Project focuses on celebrating the three basic beliefs of one company and celebrating the artists in every child. The reason I chose to present this piece is because I find it incredibly validating to publicly display young artists' work in such a grand and prominent way. My daughter has loved producing works of art since she first began finger painting in her diapers. In the first grade, she was asked to identify one of her dreams in life. She stated that her dream was to have one of her pieces displayed in a public space. Years later, her dream has come true. I wonder how many of the other 8,000 students shared a similar dream. To acknowledge artists when they are young is such an affirming act. According to citydata.com, over 22% of children living in Bentonville are considered poor, which by definition means they live in a home with an annual income below the poverty line. For each of these children, a public acknowledgement of their artistic abilities may stimulate self-confidence and initiate a newfound sense of efficacy. Thank you for joining me in this edition of Art You Can See in a Day. I would encourage you to come to Bentonville, Arkansas, home of Walton's Five and Dime, Crystal Bridges, and the Every Artist Wall Art Project.